Alright, so here's a really common mistake. Happens far too often. Missing vial, you'll see it's a missing vial, wrong plate. So clearly there's just a vial in the wrong position or somebody put it in the wrong uh, vial position here in the sample list. And so it is paused. You can see the instrument is off and we have an error on our sample match. So the best way to clear this error, what I like to do first, even if the instrument is running and still ready, I will reset the communications on the inlet. So the best way to get to the inlet is you can go to the shortcuts and open the inlet method, or you can open the inlet method directly by clicking on, right clicking on the inlet method and hitting edit. That will open up this inlet manager. Uh, whenever there's an error, I like to go ahead and reset the entire stack first, which then frees up a lot of the things you can do in the console. So if you get to the console, you would then go into the shortcuts and open the MS console. In the MS console, now you see there's an error on the sample manager and you can reset the sample manager to clear that error. Right. So that's gonna go ahead and start resetting. Now, anytime you reset something in the console, any of the inlet components, you're going to have to reset the communications for the entire stack in the inlet again in order to communications come back. That's at least how I do it. And so then I will just come back over. You don't have to wait for it to finish or anything. I just come right back over here to this and reset the communications one more time on the inlet. So now I'm going to go over and I'm going to open up. So it looks like the problem was on this method here. And so I'm going to go over and just uh, first I'm going to go to the queue and I'm going to delete the wrong information in the queue here. So I'm going to delete the queue and then I will go ahead and unpause. Remember that pausing and unpausing is different from playing. So if you see the pause depressed, you want to unpause by clicking on the depressed pause so it is gone. Okay. So now I'm going to go and check the auto sampler. And there is no vial in position 44. So that is the mistake. Just to go ahead and get things running again, anytime you've deleted something from the queue and attempted to run it, I always change the file name. Because if you submit the same file name twice, even if it didn't run the sample, it's going to cause some errors. And so I will go over here now, have all this stuff open. And then I will just go ahead and change this file name here. I'm going to hit play. And yes, I'm going to go ahead and put it into the queue. And we'll hear the instrument turn itself on and run its automatic startup here in the corner. And then I typically will wait around. Every now and again, this will not fix the missing, the, the error. And the instrument, the sample manager actually won't start back up. And so I typically will look in the additional status signals in the acuity tab in the inlet manager here and make sure the sample manager uh, starts working. So typically you'll see it start washing the needle or moving the needle. And once it says that, you know you're pretty much good to go and you can go ahead and let it be. But until I see that, I, I'm not 100% confident that it cleared the air. So if it didn't clear the air, the best thing to do is to pause the run. Here you go, you can see that it's washing the needle, so we're pretty much all good. Uh, so we don't have to worry about it anymore. But if it didn't do these things and it was just kind of hung up, it looked like it was running, but it wasn't telling you any information. It was just kind of fro frozen there with waiting for inlet to start. And this was there far too long or something up. So typically in that situation, I will then pause the queue and delete this from the queue again. And then I will close the MassLink software and then reopen the software and then change the name of the run again and go ahead and resubmit it. And that typically fixed it, the opening and closing the software. But this seemed to work. I hope that helped.